Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome to the channel for today's timeless message. Whenever you find it, it is meant for you. I'm going to be using the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards by James Van Prague. Here's the box cover in the background for your focus. If you enjoy this deck, please check out those quick links right there in the description box. It'll take you out to my comprehensive shop list, which includes decks that I use, books that inspire me, jewelry, crystals, singing bowls, sage, and a lot of other fun things. So go ahead and check it out. We're going to jump into it here. We're just going to be doing a collective energy message here. Timeless, okay? Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest because this is a collective. This is general. Not everything is always going to resonate with you. So be sure that you are listening to your intuition when receiving these messages. And if something just doesn't make sense for you in your life, well, then it may not be for you. All right. And we're releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance. Whoop. Threw some on the floor. Pardon me. Divine guidance. Spirit guides. Peace, love, and light. What is my all signs? Collective timeless. Oh, that one really flew. Goodness gracious. I apologize, everyone. They're flying out here today. Okay. Two cards so far, spirit. And then my wig, of course, is having a mind of its own. It's just been a day, and today is the 1111 portal. So I am dating this video, okay? However, please know that the overall message and energy is going to be timeless, okay? Just for your interest, I am shooting it on the 1111 portal. And so it might have some resonance for you here today as well. If you're watching it today, Spirit, anything additional that we might want to add to the reading for those that need to receive it? Spirit, anything additional? No. Wow. Two cards. That's interesting. And it's beautiful because they really mirror kind of the same color combinations, don't they? With the, with the purple and the light blue and elements of light blue and elements of purple. Just beautiful. How does the color light blue or blue or purple resonate with you? Colors hold energy. Colors hold meaning. So pay attention to those, okay, wherever they're repeating. Certainly check your chakra body systems, okay, and see what colors that you're resonating with correlate to those systems as you may have some work to do to clear those chakras. And also knowing that Certain colors are more powerful for you based on your sign. So go out and do your homework about power colors regarding what you should wear, how you should decorate, what colors are your most powerful colors to use in your life. But we're going to jump into it here. Wow. <clears throat> First card up. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Ooh. Wow. What a life lesson, isn't it? We can't change things that are in the past. The past is done and over, friends. We take the lessons learned and apply it to our life moving forward, all right? And also accepting that we don't have control over everything, okay? Certainly not other people. And while we might have the best intention for ourselves and the dreams and the, the passions that we are trying to, you know, bring into us, attract into us, come into fruition, we can do all the right things. We can make sure that we have a positive, high vibratory mindset, belief systems, okay, the way that we speak to ourselves and taking action in inspired ways. And yet, even with all of the work, our fruitions, our manifestations may not come to us in the time that we thought they would or in the packaging that we thought that they would, okay? So you have to be willing to accept it is what it is, okay? And as a result, we move forward in our life based on what it is. We will get into the booklet message. I always read the booklets here on my channel 
as a way to really honor the hard work, okay, of these deck creators. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone, all right? Ooh, oh, okay. <clears throat> you might have to accept a relationship ending that may have not have been your idea, okay? And it might have made you feel lonely. That's something coming off of these right away, all right? But we are going to jump into the booklet and oftentimes, and another reason that I read the booklet messages as well is while I am reading the words, for whatever reason, that is the time and the space where spirit likes to chime in and tends to do that more often when I take the time to read the words from the deck creators. So I will do that and maybe additional information is going to come through here as I do that as well. Download in information, channeled information. All right. <clears throat> acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Right now, your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. All right, absolutely. That storyline that talks about how a relationship ended. And this could be romantic. This could be a friend relationship. This could be a family relationship, a family dynamic. This could certainly be, you know, a work group, a working team, something like that, okay? Please know that it doesn't always have to be romantic. But whatever ending here, it wasn't your idea necessarily, and you're kind of feeling a little lonely, a little loneliness because of it, as a result of it, all right? Let me know in the comments if that is you. <clears throat> This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. Just realize that the universe has given you this incredible opportunity to release control. Perhaps doing so will help you realize that everything that help you realize that there is a rhythm or a rhyme or reason to everything in life. Absolutely. All of it happens for a reason. There is no coincidence, okay? Everything is always happening for a reason, all right? And something, I don't know if you heard that little bang, but something banged on the wall or the ceiling, I don't even know. That's that's really weird, okay? <clears throat> Maybe that somehow that's a resonates with you. Somebody banging on a wall or, or a ceiling or something. Maybe you live in an apartment or whatever and you, people make noise above you, okay? Or you make noise for the people below you. Take it how it resonates. Rather than thinking that the... They, I am so incredibly tongue-tied today. How does that resonate with you? I have... <clears throat> been in conversations at work, outside of work, and it seems like everybody is so tongue-tied today and really having a difficult time putting together words. So, hmm, interesting. Rather than thinking that these are the accidents that are occurring, refer to these conditions as moments of divine design. Absolutely. Everything is always happening for us, okay? As I said before, the divine and the universe and God has plans for our life that we have no idea necessarily how good it can be. Okay, we have dreams and thoughts and ideas and wishes and passions and hopes. And it might not even be to the level of how good it could possibly get by divine design. All right, so trust the process of the divine. Trust the universe. Maybe it is a person or a situation that you do not agree with right now. For the moment, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop, step back, observe, and make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance, grace, and patience, putting yourself in somebody else's shoes. All right, absolutely. 
That's important to do. Holding empathy for others, all right? Understanding that and compassion, okay? And maybe something turned out in a way that, <clears throat> or maybe information was brought forward to you that you didn't know and now you've learned something new and it really is changing the way that you are approaching this, whatever this is, okay? Something has been brought to your attention, all right? You can't control others, so please stop trying to control others, Spirit wants me to say, all right? Realize that although you have come to accept a situation or a condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are condoning a behavior or that you support it, okay? Just because something happened and it wasn't your choice, it doesn't mean that you are condoning that, but you are accepting the reality of the situation, okay? <clears throat> Let's see here. You see it for what it is and recognize that there is something rich to learn from it. I can't, wow, I feel really discombobulated, all right? Just all over the place. I keep losing my spot in the booklet. I can't seem to form the words. <clears throat> my throat is even starting to kind of clog up a little bit. So that's telling me <clears throat> you're either dealing with allergies illness or somebody has a blocked throat chakra because they're not speaking their truth okay interesting that's what it is for me anyway let's go into loneliness and see what additional information we can learn about loneliness i know that i am never alone and that is absolutely the truth okay you're never ever alone even if you feel like you are all right your spiritual team is always there your ancestors are always with you, okay? Because their energy doesn't end. Just because this physical vehicle ages and expires and, and passes away, that everlasting energy within you lives on forever and so does everybody else, okay? So you're never alone, all right? This card has come to you because you must be reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone, Feeling of loneliness originates from a sense of not appreciating the most important people in your life, you, okay? If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship within yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul, all right? And if you are accepting a relationship ending <clears throat> or attempting to accept a relationship ending and now you're starting to feel lonely, Okay, you might actually want to look at that solitude as an opportunity, okay? An opportunity to love yourself the way that maybe you weren't loved in the last relationship or whatever it is, okay? An opportunity to put yourself first, show yourself self-love, okay? Do the things for yourself that you want to do, all right? Oh, there goes my camera. Oh, I pardon me. Goodness gracious, camera. Well, this this video <clears throat> has been something. And I don't uh, edit my videos, so we're going to just go with it. Because not only is this helpful for others to see that we don't need fancy equipment to be here on YouTube, okay? People make mistakes all the time, and we push through and continue on. And I make a point of not editing out my mistakes because I want other people to see that mistakes happen. And a lot of what you are consuming has been heavily edited. I don't do that here on the channel, all right? Anyway, we're, we're getting off on a tangent, okay? let's. But this, it really just speaks to, I don't think my camera has ever moved like that ever in a reading before. So it is the energy of today. It really is 1111 portal, goodness gracious. All right, and now, of course, I'm all discombobulated where I was. Feelings, okay. Create a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then you will attract others who will nurture your soul. 
If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you, okay? And that's just it. You don't want to, whatever happened, you know, the relationship broke up, it wasn't your idea, all right? But now you might be going into a new relationship, whether romantic or business partnership, friendship, whatever it is. But if you don't heal the issues that were the reasoning behind the breakup of the past relationship, then you're just going to find somebody else that is just like that other person, okay, but looks different, okay? Or you're going to experience the same experiences but in a different relationship if you don't do the work of healing yourself first, okay? <clears throat> same circus, okay, different clown. That's how spirit wanted me to say it, oh my goodness. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't value, if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful, okay? I am affirmations. Maybe you need to do some I am affirmation work. Please check out my shorts. I have so many I am affirmation statements. These are statements that you use to really switch up and change the negative self-talk to positive self-talk. You can view those. You don't have to use those exact wordings. Those are examples for you in my shorts, okay? But you can get, you get the idea. You can take the elements there and create your own and start this I am affirmation practice in your life. Okay. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine again. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family, teachers, and guides are with you. You're never, ever alone. Okay, and if you find yourself alone because of a relationship that ended that wasn't your choice, it is what it is. It's time to accept that, okay? Acceptance of it is what it is. Start, start prioritizing yourself, okay? Self-care. Remember that you're never alone, all right? People are with you all of the time. People that have passed on, your spiritual team, God and that, everybody is with you. Okay, you have to remember that, all right? And take an opportunity of being alone as realizing that these are the moments that you have to really reevaluate yourself and the direction that you're going in life and what changes do you need to make and that this happened for you, okay? Not to you, but for you. So stop playing in that victim mentality, Spirit wants me to say, all right? It happens for reasons. Everything does, okay? There's no coincidences here. You might have even felt this coming, but you wanted to just dismiss it. Well, now is the time to work your way through it because on the other side of this, you're going to be successful, but you have to remember to do the work and it starts with you and it starts today, okay? Today is your day, now is your time, yesterday done and over, tomorrow not promised, so you're taking inspired action today, okay? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments what you are taking inspired action on, I would really love to know. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Put your best foot forward and be the best human you can be. And come back again and join me for yet another timeless collective energy message. Please like share and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.